This problem says a block with mass of 20 grams is attached to a spring with a force constant k is equal to 50 newtons over meters. What is, the mag what is the magnitude of the acceleration of the block when the spring is stretched four meters from the equilibrium position? So say we have like a wall where a spring is attached and it's just sitting there at its regular um, like equilibrium position. If it was stretched four meters from its equilibrium position, it would be like stretched out, for example. Say that this was the equilibrium position and then this would be four meters. Just to give us a, a visual of what's going on. So the first thing that we generally need to do whenever we have a spring and a force constant is to use our equation that the force of a spring is equal to its force constant times the distance that it's stretched from its equilibrium position. Since we have those numbers, um, both the spring constant and the stretch, and they're in um, similar units, we can plug them directly into our formula. So we get that the force is equal to the spring constant, which is 50, times the amount that it's stretched from equilibrium, which is 4. If we multiply that together, we get that the force is equal to 200, and that unit would be, the meters would cancel out, the unit would be newtons. From here, we're looking for the magnitude of the acceleration of the block. So, in order to find the magnitude of the acceleration of the block, let's use another equation that the force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. We are also given the mass of uh, 20 kilograms, so we can plug in the 200 newtons in for the force. The mass is 20 kilograms, and what we're looking for is acceleration. And when force is in newtons, mass is in kilograms, that's going to give us acceleration in a unit of meters per second squared which all of our units are that, so um, we don't have to worry about it. From here, we can solve for our acceleration by dividing both sides by 20, and that will cancel out to give us 20 divided, excuse me, 200 divided by 20 is 10, so the acceleration would be 10 meters per second squared. So I hope this step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave any comments if you'd like to see a video on one of your homework problems. Thanks for watching.